Don't give up, Mom. We need you. Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who have spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is at 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I am even as I also am of Christ. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. The Apostle Paul writing these words, encouraging believers to follow the pattern that he left as he patterned his life after Christ. I want to talk to you, though, about the patterns that moms leave and how important mothers are. A little story about a little girl that was in one of those programs at church. You know the programs where the kids get up and they have to say a verse or a line and uh, she got up in front of the crowd, and it was a large crowd that night, and she could see out into the audience, and it looked like a sea of faces, and uh, when you get up there, it's a little different than quoting the verses in your living room or speaking them again and again in the car. When you've got them memorized there, it's harder to do it up front, and she got up front, and she just drew a blank. Nothing was coming out. No words, nothing, not even a sound was coming out of her. Her mother was in the front row, and her mother was trying to mime to her what to say, and the little girl wasn't getting it. Finally, the mother started quoting the verse for her, I am the light of the world. Nothing. I am the light of of the world. And finally the little girl says, my mother is the light of the world. Of course, everybody in the church smiled because they realized that moms are a lot of times the light of the world. They're a bright light of faith uh, for us in our family. Sometimes the first pastor we have is pastor mom. Um, often the first coach we have is coach mom. The first teacher we have is teacher mom. The first leader we have is leader mom. Moms play such a powerful role in our society. It has been well said that the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. And you can never uh, overestimate the impact that mothers make in, in this world. Mothers, mothers direct our lives. The crucial formation of human beings is pre-seven years old, perhaps even pre five years old, and at that time, the greatest influence in a child's life is the mother. And I know, Mom, some days that job gets so hard. I, I know that some nights you're up all night long with a sick kid and you're cleaning stuff up. I, I know that other nights, other other days are long and you, you spend sometimes a whole day and your interaction is just with little people and they're, they're hanging on you and they're they're needing stuff from you, and they're just they're constantly drawing from you, and it's just so easy to get exhausted and warm to a frazzle. I want you to know that God loves you, and God's going to help you through this. And I just want you to know how important what you're doing is. I I, I remember uh, a message that was had uh, I think it was Bill Clinton and George uh, W. Bush. They were both in this commercial, and they were talking about how the hardest job they ever had was being a parent. It wasn't. It wasn't being the president. It was being a parent, and uh, and and I want you to know, um, your job is hard, Mom. It's a tough job, and it's a twenty-four-seven kind of job, and it's a job where a ton of responsibility is on you. And I, I want you to know that we love you and we appreciate you. I. I think back about what my mom did in my life and the sacrifices she made, and I'm I'm dumbstruck by it. I mean, gobsmacked by the sacrifice that she made. She spent time reading to us when we were little kids, so we became readers. She, she spent time walking with us around the 15 acres, spent time with us, and she shared with us some of her love and, and appreciation of nature and of beauty. Uh, she could knit and crochet things that were just immaculate and beautiful to behold. She was a creative personality. She liked to do uh, paint by numbers. Her mom did more of it. My grandma did more of it, but she did some of that as well. She was a hard worker. I, I don't know that I know anybody who was a harder worker than my mom was. She worked in food service, and I have great respect for the dear ones that work in food service. It is one of the hardest industries there is. It involves back-breaking labor, precision timing, 
you, you almost have to run an army to be able to, to do what they do in food service. And my mom worked in that all of her life and then came home and had to deal with four boys. And if you've ever been around four boys, oh, mercy. Uh, God have mercy on my dear mother. But I, I so much appreciate her. She's passed now. And if you still got your mom, could I encourage you to go and to bless her and thank her, maybe get her some roses or just be kind to her. Uh, take her out, buy buy her some uh, food, get her her favorite candy bar, something. Let her know you love her. Moms, we need you. We love you. Thank you for what you do. You are the light of the world. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day and I thank you for these dear ones. I pray that you'd bless them. Help them to have a good night. Let them know that you are there and that you care. Lord, for those tired moms out there, give them a special energizing touch from your Holy Spirit, that they'd be able to get up and to continue to do those difficult tasks that they do each day. Thank you for their sacrifices. Thank you for how they have laid down their lives for us. Help us to appreciate that and not to ever forget it. We just thank you for how your son laid down his life for us on the cross of Calvary. Watch out over us. Let us rest tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you even more.